Today we're taking down the skirt and replacing the skirt on a 1972 Cabana 10.5 model. This canvas skirts we reckon may be the original, we're not sure. It's going to involve removing this one and we've got a white um, vinyl one going up instead. As I see it's deteriorated. This one's actually nailed in or tacked in. As I see it's got tacks. We'll be replacing it with actually flat washers and screws. So we've just been pulling it down um, and we'll be tacking the new one back onto here. So at the moment we're just pulling this one down. And then we'll show you how to pull it out of the track. The, tool, the tools we're using to remove the um, these tacks is I found it easy to use wire cutters or side cutters because that way you can actually get up and under the nail head. Like I said, they're naturally a tack. You can actually get up and under them like this and just pry them off like that. All right. You can actually just pull the tack straight out. Like that, see. Um, if you can't get them with that, I've been using a small screwdriver as well just to get up and under it, under them to pry them out a bit away from the canvas. That way, you can actually get the side cutters under it. As this is the old canvas, it doesn't really matter if we damage it anyway. Oh, I think. Grab that one up and under it like that, and you pull it out. Um, also, you can use just a uh, normal pair of pliers as well which works as well. Okay, we've got it all un, unpinned, unnailed. All right. Now the bottom section here is actually in a track in here. All right. We've just popped out the corner here because there's beading in here, there's beading in here. So that's that's just popped out along here. So we're just pulling it out and to actually get where are we? To actually get it out just a screwdriver. Just pull it out, just pry it out, um, and I'll probably be using some sort of spray, um, silicone spray, to help it get out because it's very dry. As you see, I got it, I got it. See, so it just basically pops straight out. There we go. So, we're just going to pull this all out of the track here, and we'll get back to you. All right, we've got the old skirt off. Uh, we just end up pulling it out of the track along here. We just end up pulling it out. Uh, we didn't need to lubricate or anything. Um, what we're going to do now is just ba do basic cleanup. As you see, along here is all filthy mold, cobwebs. So I'm going to clean it all up, clean the track up. Um, I'll probably use a wire brush inside the track and probably a bit of a wire brush up the top here just to clean it up. I'm going to check all the screws, make sure they're not overly rusted because they're really rusted, it means you've got water leakage somewhere. Um, that's the new cover there, which is from um, where are we? Bags and Swags. Bags and Swags. Victoria. Bags and Swags in Victoria. Um, we got it from there for 150 bucks delivered. White it's, vinyl. Um, it's, an, it's a white vinyl, you can pick your colour. Um, you just measure what your, your diameter is from uh, here to here on the inside and outside. Um, also from this side to that side, both sides. Um, I also got um, 12 new ribs. There's um, four ribs on the sides, uh, two ribs on either side, which actually go in, in the uh, skirt to make sure that when it folds up it actually folds inwards. I'll show you when they go in. They've actually got to go into the into the skirt. So these are I actually got these off of eBay. They're um I think I, was, I think I'm getting six of them for about twenty four dollars. So I bet just search on there for the best price. Um, they come with a rubber band which actually holds them in, holds them in shape on like that. So anyway, so we'll get we'll get on to cleaning all the track now, cleaning up here as well, and we'll get back to it. As you see, we got it from Bags and Swags, Victoria. All right, we've cleaned out all the track. 
Um, it's to actually get to get this on is going to be a two-person job. As you see, the track's nice and clean. Um, I've wire brushed all along there. To get the cover on, we actually folded it on in half and laid it actually on top, and then pulled this side over first uh, to go over the top of our awning. If you've got an awning, otherwise you've got too much. You haven't got enough room to pull it over. So we pulled this side over first. We then um, dragged the other side over the other side, pulled the end pod in, and then put that end on first, and then pulled this pod in, and then put this end in next. And then the canvas just slides straight over the top. It's a bit of a snug fit. And then also, too, we've noticed with this one, we've actually got a vent here where the oven is or the kitchen area, but our kitchen's actually here. So <laughs> this is actually where the fridge is. So that has to be lined up for a breathe hole. Um, and also, too, you make sure that your beading is actually on the bottom because it's got to go on the track and that is being stapled on the inside. So we've actually got it on, but the beading's not in yet. Um, that's the next thing I'm going to do. Just making sure it's all lined up. So, but it looks like it's going to look quite nice. Different colour than being green. So the missus is still just lining it up on the inside. So inside... I've actually cleaned all along here. This is actually sticky stuff from the original. I've had staples and that in here as well, so I pulled staples out. Why well, well, I brushed it all and cleaned it. Um, along here's a lot better. Also, too, on the on on the ends, you've actually got um, like a seal. It's like a weather strip seal. Um, mine was actually out of the track on this end. And the person that had it before me actually just used Celastic. So I've actually redone all this and re-put this all back in the track properly. Um, also too, because this is actually aluminium, it's actually part of the lid here. This side was actually bent, so it gave me a chance to actually straighten this one up. Um, so what I'd done is just rechecked everything along here, make sure everything was stapled. So anyway, yeah, so that's all done. All the tricks are done, so we're just gonna start putting it in. Once we actually start putting it in, um, we'll show you again. They actually say, um, I've read on YouTube to use a bit of, um, sorry, not YouTube, sorry, on the Cabana site, sorry, that to use a bit of silicon spray in here. So I'm actually using Tyshine, um, so which is full, full long lasting, you know, silicon, full rich silicon. Um, and then that way it actually lubricates it for this to go in. And they actually say to hit it with a bit of wood to actually push it in. But I'm just going to see how it goes with this. Because, as they say, as long as the beading's the right size, a bit of silicon spray should go in. And I'll just go along here. So what I'm going to do is just spray a bit here first. And then we'll go from there. We'll see how we go. Alright, so... I'll put a little bit in here. Also, you've got to make sure that this lines up with your pole. Because your corner... That he's actually the guys that make it over in Victoria. They've actually marked it with a pen on the corner, so that's actually the corner. So that's going to go right on there, hopefully. So let's see how we go here. See how this thing lines up. Actually, they might be right, you know. Maybe it's not even a bit of a bit of wood, I reckon. Okay, that might be the way to go. That's actually quite stiff. Yeah. Actually, I'll get a piece of wood. I'll, I'll come back to you. All right, what I've done is use silicon spray right on the track and moved up the piece of wood. <laughs> so, and yeah, it's very, very stiff. But as you see, it's popped in. So, um, so I'm just, all I'm doing is making sure that the beading is right at the end of the actual canvas. And then you just go along and then just hit it. Start with the corners. So, yeah, and I've started with this corner because this is the toughest part here. So, in theory, and I just kept on pouting it. Until we hear the noise actually change. Alright, let's try this bit here. It's just going to be a long process. Until you hear that noise, then you know it's in. So, right, so that's what we do. We'll go all the way along. I've sprayed um, tire shine up to about here. So, as long as the bees are sitting there, let's go along. Until you hear that noise, then you know it's in. Just like that. Well, all that.
that's actually in. And then once it's all done, I'm going to wash it because it's actually really dirty now. <laughs> it's going to get dirty anyway. Oh, look at that, it. it's just everywhere. So I'll do a bit more and then uh, we'll go from there. I'll just go just do this side and then I'll show you what it looks like just from this side. Um, and then I'm going to work around to where the kitchen section is so we know it lines up properly. Um, so yeah, get back in a minute. Okay, after a long extent of time, about an hour or so, we bang and straighten it up, we got it all in. It's all in here, hardest parts of these corners. Right, so it's all in. It's looking, it's looking better. Um, so now I'm going to do inside of here. Alright, the ribs. Alright, there's four ribs on the sides, two on the ends. Make sure that when you install them, you go bend in. That way, when the top comes down, the the um, canvas actually bends inwards. All right. So they actually go in this way. Now, some people will probably put these in before they put the canvas in here, but I'd rather do it this way because it's easier. All right. So just bear with me. Um, where are we? Now these are 28 centimeters. You can get them up to 30. I've been told that it doesn't matter if it's 28 or 30, 28 with the cheaper ones, they're going to move up and down in here anyway. Alright, as you see, so I'm just going to push them all the way down. Don't glue them. The last ones I had were actually glued in the green one. I've been told you don't glue them, they need to flex and move around in there. So as you see, you see it naturally folds like that. Alright, so after I've done all that, it'll actually slightly bow inwards. Alright, oh, I can actually see that. Yeah, see it bows inwards slightly. Um, when I did the measurements on this, I actually measured from the channel to the top here. I should have actually measured to here. This is where the original vinyl used to be. Um, but the existing vinyl I had actually went all the way to here. So I measured from here to here, which ended up being 37. Um, um, so yeah, so when this all screws in, it's going to come up level to the top like that. So, so that allowed a little bit of flex on it. We're on unlevel ground anyway, so. So anyway, so I'll finish putting the rest of these ribs in. Um, and then I'm just gonna, for tonight, I'm just gonna tack up corners. The two corners here, so I'll show you what it looks like after they're all tacked up in the corners. And yeah, we'll see how it looks. Okay, ribs are in. Um, to screw up the canvas, I'm gonna be using um, screw cup washers. Um, this, with these, I'll make sure it doesn't actually go all the way through the, the canvas slash um, vinyl. Um, they're 8 gram, I'm also using 8 gram 16mm um, self tapping wood screws. Um, so, yeah, so <laughs> we just suck because they only come in packets of 20. So, I've got 60 of these, which I think should be plenty. And the missus has just bought me a coffee because it's getting cold because it's night time outside. So, like I said, so I'm just going to put up a couple in each corner um, and let's see what it's like. Um, I'm going to pre drill the holes first with a smaller drill bit. That way, when you go into the wood, it's not going to split the wood or um, stuff up the canvas. Alright. Right, I got a bit carried away. I decided to do a lot more fixtures. These screws. I've practically done the whole thing. Um, I was just going to tack it up. But I've gone through 40 screws. Um, as you see, you see it bows, bows inwards. Because of the new ribs. So, um, that's basically all of it. Uh, when I I first screwed up on the two two in each corner and then I started do, then I started doing the end and then I started from one end and just, just worked around um, what I realized once I actually started getting to the corners and I've straightened up the lined up the next seam right in the corner with a pole and then I've done all two screws each corner as you've started screwing all these up you'll find out that you'll get sag right so all I've done then is um, to get rid of the sag because you, the sizes are two different sizes. Um, all I did then was just undo one of the screws and move it along to get the sag out and re-screw it in. So it, it's up to you, but I mean, it makes it nice and square doing it that way. Um, and I end up doing that only on one screw in all four corners. So for example, it was this screw on this side. So I undone that and, no, sorry, it was that one. I undone that and I pulled it this way. So then that way all this came tight. And then yeah, so then I just went through there. Um, this side it was that screw undone. I then pulled it, so that way the whole big sides all get pulled tight, and you'll have no problems with those. These will just end up being tight anyway. So 
Ah, uh, but yeah, you'll just get a bit of sag, just depending on your measurements and all that. Um, and I've got, I've got a bit of this crease is here because it's being pulled in the corners because I'm not totally on level ground. Um, but hey, I'm happy with it. Um, I'll take photos and some video during the day of what it looks like on the outside because you won't be able to see it because at the moment it's night time. It's like seven o'clock at night or something. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with it. Um, I'd prefer to use these um, cup washers with the screws instead of using nails because um, the, these these will seal better than nails or even tacks. The tacks will actually rust. These are actually stainless steel um, and I've actually got zinc, zinc screws. You can get stainless steel screws too but these will actually last better than normal tacks or slash nails and they'll actually hold better and they won't actually damage your vinyl uh, compared to the tacks that I had in there. Um, also too it, it'll be easier if I have a, a repair or something to actually take that down than using nails because that way I can then re-screw it back up in the same position it was in. Um, yeah, so, but I'm quite happy. And because it's white, my LEDs are better. Um, my LEDs are like beaming up here, though it's a nice soft light. Um, Alright, this is the finished product. As you see. And she looks all right. And then inside, as you see, I've done several screws off the top. And I think that should be enough. That looks all right. Um. Oh no! It just takes a couple of hours to do, especially with TP. Helps with two people. I found out if if the other person from the inside holds it up and actually sort of lines up this towards the track so when you you knock it in with the block of wood it actually goes in a lot better it's a lot quicker too so but all in all i'm quite happy for 450 dollars um another shout out to bags and swags of victoria um 450 bucks delivered i'm in so um i think that's the same price to anywhere in australia um, very good workmanship on these, I tell you. It's nice, nice, thick um, vinyl. Um, very happy with it. And it was, it was, it. I, I actually got it within, I think it was just over a week. So, so. <laughs> so, yeah, it's very, very happy. Another shout out to Bags and Swags. Thank you very much for the help. They were actually cheaper than um, locally in SA, they were over $1,000. So, uh, so that's it. That's how you um, well, pull down and replace a skirt on a cabana. 1972, 10.5 um, model. Um, hopefully other people get to use that. So, information. Right, thank you. Bye.